Hey, everybody. Welcome to the first Dr. Stolna Bridge commentary. Yeah, we're going to start with episode one. And we just thought it'd be cool to sort of walk you guys through our thoughts and, you know, should we introduce ourselves? We should. We should probably do that. So I'm Anime Eyed Girl. And I am the Black V neck. Um, We also go by Amanda and Jesse. I'm Jesse. I'm Amanda. And uh, so I play um, Smart Boy, Strong Boy, Stronger Boy. Basically, I play the, the male characters. Yes, I am Headphones Girl and Watermelon Girl and all these other girls. And hot that you Girl. Meet. Yeah. Yeah, so basically. And random characters. Yeah, so basically, she's all the girls and I'm all the guys, with the exception of one female. I was the little girl who wanted to put pineapple on pizza that one time. Yes, because she was odd and I was like, I want her to have a bizarre voice. Oh, and so uh, I gave her a weird, bizarre voice. But we th- the purpose of this um, series, or, or I guess, sub-series, secondary series, whatever you want to call this. Yeah. Spinoff series. I get, uh, yeah, that'll work. Yeah, the commentary is just to let you guys hear how we came up with some of the weird stuff that went into Avatar. Um, not Avatar. <laughs> that went into <laughs> Dr. Stone. We'll get to Avatar later. Yeah. Uh, and, and we just wanted to, you know, let you guys see the, the other side of things. Yep. That's why we're doing it. The birth of Dr. Stolna Bridge. Honestly, we were watching the actual anime, and we're kind of having a hard time remembering the characters' names. Yeah, so on her Twitch stream, a lot of times she would just abbreviate them and call them things like Smart Boy. Strong Boy. And uh, Watermelon Girl. Yeah, because honestly, Suika, Senku, Sukasa, those are hard. <laughs> well, especially for an American audience, they can be a little bit difficult just because we're not used to those names. Yeah, and it was it was Yuzuri Ha's name that still throws me off a lot. Yuzuri Ha was a hard one for sure. Yeah, it's like I think I kept calling her Mizuri Ha. It's like and a bunch of other things. Like I was like, I don't know that girl's name. <laughs> and so this it was it sort of stemmed from this joke that we had with some of her Twitch viewers, and then people would be like, "That's smart boy." And then we just said, you know, it'd be funny just to make a a bridge series where we call them by those names. And that's sort of where it started. It is. We thought it would be fun and creative to make short episode of bridge series because we did Avatar. Mm -hmm. And the episode is the normal length for most average of bridge series, like anywhere between eight to ten minutes for an episode. And we were like, I bet we can get it out faster because the bridge series are a lot of work. They They take a while to make... Yeah, if you want them to be at least somewhat decent quality, they do take a little bit of time because you, you have to take, first of all, all the audio goes out. Uh, we can do a whole stream one day if you guys want about um, uh, fair use and parody law and things like that. There's, there's a lot of things that go into it, but basically you have to remove all the audio. Every music, uh, every music, is that how it's <laughs> Yes. All of the music, every sound effect you hear. So when you hear somebody walking, you hear <laughs> as they're stepping. Like, we had to add each one of those footsteps. Wind, rain, whooshes. Whooshes are a thing in anime. It's everything. There's a lot of whooshes. Like, those type of noises. We have to add so many of those. So, episode one is, I want to rock with you. So, (laughs) the Black V-Neck, you can tell them how we kind of came up with that title and some of our thoughts for the pilot episode. So, the, the first thing is that we tried our best to, in the beginning to take the, ti- the original titles of the episodes. We tried to sort of frame them around what the original titles were, but I can say that we eventually fall out of that pattern later on, and we just start naming them more freely based on what the episodes are about. That's true. I think we did it for a while, and it, then eventually we were just like, let's just come up with something that we used in our episode that we thought would stick with people. Yeah, and it made more sense in the beginning to do that, because in the beginning we had a parallel plot to what was going on, but the further that our series diverged from the original plot, that's true. The less the original titles made sense, and the harder it was to parody the titles. Because by the end of this thing, like our plot is just very loosely based on Doctor Stone, only because we're using the same like source material. But I mean, the plot's pretty different at that point. That's true. So much like any series, our pilot episode was kind of used to define our version of these characters, and there's obviously some things that we had to tweak and try to learn, you know, growing pains. Absolutely. I do want to say that during this little intro uh, where you see Dr. Stone and Abridged, um, so I made that in Motion, which is the Apple equivalent of Adobe After Effects, Uh, and I have to say I regret not making our own logo um, because with it being based on the original Dr. Stone logo, 
we can't make like t-shirts and stuff for it because it's very clearly the original logo and we just tacked the word abridged onto it. Hmm, maybe um, we can change it for season two. Yeah, we, we might be able to do that when we get, uh, hit season two. And uh, also, uh, as we move into Avatar Abridged and kind of redoing episode one and moving on into the rest of the series, uh, we are going to have our own logo for that so that people who are a fan of Avatar will be able to make some merchandise uh, for Avatar Abridged and so people can enjoy that and support the series by buying Yay, merchandise. I love merch. Heck yeah. So as we move into the first scene, this first scene admittedly is a little bit abrupt and I, that's kind of okay, I think, because it's the pilot episode. Yeah, I think it's funny. It, it is definitely funny. It felt kind of abrupt to me. I think it's the, the shortest clip we have in all of our anime series, and it's the very first scene. Uh, that's partially, probably true. Yeah, partially because it's the pilot, and we're still kind of learning. Uh, but it still does a, a pretty efficient job of... Jumping right in there. Yeah, jumping right in and summing up that Smart Boy only cares about science. And that's one of the hard things with the bridges, is figuring out how to how to shorten things but not completely lose everything that they need to know about the characters. I think one of our other struggles was kind of trying to figure out who was smart in the series and who is dumb. It's like we did decide that smart boy is a little bit of a dichotomy. He's a little bit of both. Strong He's boy smart is... and dumb. <laughs> we'll see yeah. that a little bit more later for sure. Strong boy is clearly dumb and honestly headphones girl i think we were trying to feel feel her out and decide and i think we kind of went with she's dumb too yeah i think we sort of decided she i, I think she's smarter than strong boy but she's not smart yes i think it's kind of what we came to um this was one of the first areas we did one of these ironic foreshadowing jokes where uh, strong boy says something about um uh, oh i hope an apocalypse doesn't stop me from telling her and then of course the apocalypse comes uh, to be honest that's kind of just one of the jokes that I really enjoy. It's one of the reasons it's yeah, in here. Yeah, I like that in a bridge series. Uh, they, yeah, those are one of my favorite. And to be honest, they're low-hanging fruit. They're really easy to do in a bridge series. Uh, but it's it's just kind of funny, and I find it amusing. <laughs> As we move into uh, Everybody what? Turns to Stone, okay. uh, I can say this is one part I was always a little self-conscious of, was Strong Boy's um, The You Will Not Pinch Her, where he does the really long scream thing. And it's because I didn't actually have him just yell it and then add an echo. Instead, I tried to say it like it was an echo. I was like, pinch her! Instead of just yelling it and then adding an echo the way it should have been. In the first episode, we were trying to get it out fast because, again, we were also trying to catch up to the anime. Our goal was to do... to get one out once per week. Kind and boy, of thing. was that difficult, but we yeah, mostly did Yeah, we did, did the it. thing! So then we move into the part where he's... Uh, recounting all these rock songs to pass the time. His rock hibernation. His rock hibernation. <laughs> and do you want to talk a little bit about the songs we picked? Yes. So we obviously wanted to go with rock songs or rock themed songs. So we originally were looking at the Rolling Stones. We thought that would be funny to have something mm -hmm. involving that. We put a lot of thought into it. And then eventually we were just like, oh, let's try to think of catchy songs that get stuck in people's heads. Because it was going to be hilarious when it gets stuck in his head. So, yeah, we went with I Want to Rock With You, and it became the title and everything else. So, yeah, it was hilarious. It's hard to decide exactly which songs to use sometimes in the moment. Um, but then whenever we really got in there and we did it and we felt really good about it, and then a couple of weeks later, Joyride, <laughs> who is also doing a doc or who also did a shorter Dr. Stone Abridged series, they released an episode called... Um, Cold Stone Road, I believe. I think so. Where, Based off of Old Town Road. Yeah, and it was sort of a, I want to take my horse to the Cold Stone Road. And like they, they did that whole deal with it. And it was one of those things where they did it and we both went, dang it, why didn't we think of that? Yeah, we were like, oh man, because obviously you check in on your competition and you kind of see the paths that other people are taking so you can make sure you're not copying and kind of also see where you stand if you think, how funny does it compare to your stuff and... Yeah, because if we got... Well, first of all, I think they did a great job. They I, did. They we, kinda, we enjoyed it. We watched theirs. We were fans. Yeah, they made Strong Boy into sort of a crunk character from Emperor's New Groove. Yeah. And... Uh, did a fantastic impression, too. I was like, yeah. did they get Patrick Warburton? Yeah, I think it's Patrick Warburton. Yeah, I was like, did they get him on here? I was like, what What the heck? Yeah, it was... the voice was done very well. Their concepts were very well done. The production value was great. It was. They uh, did a great job. We yeah, tip our hats. For sure. They did a great job. And um, luckily, they didn't go the same direction, so we were each able to sort of um, create our own path forward, and that was pretty cool. And 
Uh, I know we're the only... Go down our rocky roads. Yeah. <laughs> we're... <laughs> Go down the separate rocky roads. <laughs> um, and so we each kind of went our separate ways. And, um, you know, I think we're the only series who has done a full season of Dr. Stone. And that is pretty cool. Yeah, we're super proud of it. We're very proud of that. Um, so after he gets freed, he makes a reference to Starbucks no right Starbucks. out the gate. And this is a reference to how much anime I girl loves Starbucks. Yes, guys, I go like four times Starbucks. a week. So I collect all of the stars. It's so exciting. She does. She gets, she gets so many stars. No uh, basically, anything you guys give us on Patreon pretty much goes to Starbucks. That's Basically, how it goes. yeah, y'all are fueling my Starbucks addiction. So please keep going. I really, really need it. Yeah, and we actually uh expected for the starbucks thing to be sort of a running gag as we went through this series but as it turns out the characters uh of strong boy and headphones girl they end up out of the series pretty quick yeah that threw us off we were not expecting that so with a bridge series you add jokes that are going to appeal to majorities or at least you try to but you also add things that you find personally amusing uh, so the Starbucks thing was personally amusing to us. We yeah. thought it was funny. It's a it's a personal joke because of how much I like to go. So we were like, this is gonna be a thing. If if the world turned to stone, what would be the worst thing that you would think of? Like, well, Starbucks is gone. So and I'm yeah. not kidding. If we woke up from a thousand years and everything was turned to stone, that would probably be one of the first. As long as you know she she woke up with me and I was there for her. <laughs> yes. You know, the the next thing out of her mouth would be like. It wouldn't be like, what about our families? It'd be like, what's no. where's Starbucks? <laughs> Just kidding. She's I gonna love be like, family. did my stars expire? Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be like, oh no! I had a gift card. Yeah. So, um, so as we continue, this is where we first get a glimpse at Smart Boy, and I think this is the first time we start primal seeing Primal Smart Boy. Yeah, Primal Smart Boy. I think this is the first time we see Smart Boy's. Uh, Smart and dumb side at the same time. I think so. This is the first time he's actually really said anything. Yeah, and we find out that one of the dumbest things about Smart Boy is he's really bad at naming things. Yeah, and that's a recurring joke. You guys, if you pay attention to that, you'll see that in mul- like many, many episodes to come. Yeah, pretty much any time he names something, it's always bad. So anytime there's, there's a dumb name in the series, it's because Smart Boy named it. Episode the thing. 5. That's one of my favorites. For sure. Yeah. And uh, also, this is one of the first areas where I think we break the fourth wall. And uh, this is something we'll do a pretty good amount during the series. Uh, and again, that's, that's sort of, to me, one of the fun things about an abridged series is because it's sort of a joke between the audience and the, uh, the creators of the abridged series, it's really okay to break the fourth wall pretty frequently. Um, oh, definitely. Because you're kind of telling jokes to the audience directly, so it's kind of okay to talk to them directly. Yes, uh, I enjoy even that. Through the characters. So when you have uh, Strong Boy saying like, oh, we're done now, no more bridge series or whatever, uh, even though clearly it's not over, um, you know, that, that was just one of the first times that we did something like that in this series. Yeah. So that's it. A bridge commentary over. It's yeah, all done. We're all we done. did it. No more bridge series commentary. Yay. No. <laughs> so we're, we're going to try to do one of these for each of the episodes. Um, as you guys know, we are moving forward with Avatar, a bridge series, but... Uh, because our target is to get about one of those out a month, we're also going to do one episode of Dr. Stone Abridged Commentary per month, too, to make sure we're not like leaving you guys hanging with content. We want you guys to have some other stuff to see as well and, and to listen to as well. Definitely. So do not forget to like, follow, and subscribe, and comment. Let us know if you liked this, if this is interesting to you. Also, if you have any questions about the next episode of Dr. <gasps> Stone, yes. about episode two, and you want to hear about how we came up with a certain idea or why we made one character sound a certain way or anything like that. Yes, we would love um, to engage. Also, if you have any suggestions, like if you're just like, why didn't you do this? Tell us that too. And maybe we'll, we'll tell you whether we think like, dang it, that's good. We should have done that or something Or maybe else. it'll appear in season two. You know? Absolutely. So uh, that's it, guys. Uh, we love you very much. Love you guys. Thank and... you for supporting us. Yes. And if you want to support us even more, Patreon! That's right. Definitely subscribe to Patreon because it helps so much. It keeps the lights on around here. And keeps me with Starbucks. And it, oh yeah, and of course it keeps her with Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we're probably going to have to go to Starbucks now. <gasps> yes. So, love you guys. Bye! Bye, guys.